Since it's spring here on the farm, I figured it was time for another day in the life video. And thank you to my friends over at Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Life here on the farm is very dependent on the seasons. Each season has a very different way of life. And since we're in the heart of spring right now, I figured I'd try to capture what happens here on the farm and give you guys a sense of what life's like on a Vermont farm in the middle of spring. It's time to check on the incubating eggs. I currently have about 100 goose eggs incubating right now here on the farm. They should hatch in a couple of weeks. There you go, sweetie. Hey, Toby Dog. How's it going, buddy boy? How's it going, pal? Have a good night? Yeah, you doing good? Good to see you. Rise and shine, weird chickens. How's it going, buddy? Got you some old cornbread this morning. Big, isn't it? Easy there, Pablo. Hey, Justin, how you doing this morning? Justin Fitch Fletchley just took a nip out of Pablo. He wasn't having any of it. Okay, Pablo, no worse for the wear with those geese. Morning. Hey, you guys, get out of the Toby food. Hey, get, go, 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 go. Out of here, Daddy. Fresh breakfast. Release the Quacken! Good morning, Bruce the Goose. We've got some special visitors today. You're going to be very excited about this one. All right, let's see what we got for eggs this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be Toby food. No, 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 hey, 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 get yeah. I really don't want my ducks or chickens to learn that it's good to eat eggs. That would be a big problem here on the farm. Here, buddy, bonus topper. You need eat that soon. Enjoy. Hey, miss. I actually need to get in there. Excuse me. Got two eggs. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh boy. That white goose keeps sitting with Mother Goose there. Here's another one. Excuse me. I'm just checking to see. So, so far, four eggs this morning. They're starting to taper off a little bit, I think. Which, given the time of year, it's kind of natural for the geese to stop laying pretty soon. There's nothing like the energy of a spring barnyard morning. For me, it's actually the secret to getting up and out the door on time. It's so energizing to see all the animals doing their thing, all the energy from the birds, all the energy from Pablo and Toby. It makes me so happy. Everything just seems so up and energetic. Here you go, pal. Here's your real meal. You're a good cat, Pablo. Yes, you are. 
So after I do my morning chores, I usually look to have a little bit of breakfast. Right now, one of my favorite things to eat because I'm such a huge fan of cereal is Magic Spoon. You know, a lot of cereals out there have too much sugar and, you know, as you become a grown adult, you're probably not supposed to be eating cereal on a regular basis. But Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It's a special low-carb, protein-packed cereal that tastes amazing. Magic Spoon comes in four delicious flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. And nutritionally speaking, their cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. They're keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free, and I gotta say again, they taste amazing. There's nothing I like better than just chilling out after doing my chores and having a bowl of cereal. Makes me feel like a kid again. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love watching the commercials for the cereal. I don't know what it was about it, but they always sort of brought me this joy, and I gotta admit, I'm really happy to be making my own cereal commercial here today. And I really wonder what eight-year-old Morgan would have thought about the idea of making his own cereal commercials. If you guys are interested in getting your own box of Magic Spoon, uh, check out the link down below and tell them Toby Dog sent you. And by the way, Magic Spoon is so confident in the fact that you're gonna like this, they've got a 100% happiness guarantee. And so if you're not happy with the cereal, you can just send it back and get a refund. If you act now and use the link down below and use the code GOLDSHAW, you'll get $5 off your first order. I think my favorite flavor so far is the fruity, but I'm curious to see what flavors you guys choose. It even makes really great cereal milk. <laughs> <laughs> so the other day a viewer actually sent us a gift that was pretty cool. So they sent us these uh, solar powered fountain pumps. Their idea was maybe I should drop them in the pond and see what they do. At best they could actually help add extra oxygen and keep it from getting really gross. At worst they won't work all that well. So I uh, figured I'd give it a shot and see what happens by putting them in the pond. Come on Toby Dog, we're doing a little project here buddy. Thinks he, I, he probably thinks I have food. These chickens definitely think I have food. <laughs> Get out of here. Buddy, I gotta do this. If you're gonna just stand in my way, I'm gonna need you to go sit down, okay? Oh, you just want some attention? Okay. So I guess I just peel this thing off. Oh wow. As soon as it's exposed to the sun, it started. You hear that? And even though it's a pretty cloudy gray day, it's moving. Doesn't seem to be much in these instructions. They're pretty simple. And I suppose it's just as simple as. Oop, there we go. <laughs> I don't think the ducks like it very much. <laughs> it's a little anticlimactic. I'm not sure the birds know what to do about it. But it's interesting. I'm not sure how long these will last in the pond, but I don't know. It's kind of fun for the moment. On our ancient asparagus patch. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got a couple shoots starting to come up. You see that? That one right there, that one right there. Got another one right there. We got our rhubarb patch right there too. Unfortunately, this is all gonna probably have to get bulldozed when I take down that shed this spring and summer so that we can make way for some new construction. We didn't even plant this patch. It's been here for gosh knows how long, but uh, it's nice to get fresh asparagus from the garden every spring. Yeah, you like to hang out around here too. Won't be long now, I'm gonna have to retrofit these chicken tractors, put on fresh tarps or covering of some sort. I'm gonna use them for mostly brooding baby birds out in the pasture. You know, when they're a little too young to be away from heat for too long, I'll probably put some heat lamps inside there to let them warm up. And then also, because I got this guy roaming around, I need to make sure they're of a certain size before I let them run out there and be exposed to the dangers of 
the pasture. But ultimately, by the time they get to be about five, six weeks old, I'm gonna be letting them just free range completely, all the way up until uh, slaughter dates or breeding dates, depending on what happens with each of those birds. Here we've got Allison's kitchen orchard starting to come along. You can see buds are forming. Oh, even a little bit of leaves. This is exciting. It's definitely spring. A little apple tree, some leaves. Oh, wow. This one's doing really well. This is ready to go. Got some burdock scattered in here with this mulberry. Let's take this out. So the other week I set up these solar powered trail cameras all over the property. I wanna just go check on one of them to see if it's working. You know, I'm always skeptical when I try something new like this and I'm worried that the solar power won't be recharging the camera, but at this point it should either be out of battery life or not. So I'll know if it's working. All right, Toby, you watch over the farm. I'm heading into the wilderness here. Let's see how it's doing. The battery looks completely full. That's good. Let's see what's on the camera. It's not really shocking that it was nothing but wind right there. Where this trail camera is, right? See right there? is not far from the fence line. A lot of times I've seen Toby barking right in this spot, which is actually why I wanted to put this camera right here. And so I don't know if he's just scaring animals off or what, but this has typically been a high traffic area for animals when I've put trail cameras up in the past. But I'm actually very happy to see on this one that I got nothing. I'll save the footage on the other cameras for you guys in a future video. What you doing there, Pablo Barncat? <laughs> yeah, you like that piece of roofing that I've left over here over the winter? Hmm? Kind of relaxing. How's it going, buddy? Hey, don't attack me. I should probably just pick this up and clean it up. Okay, so I got the beehives partially built and set up and configured. I've got them on this stand here that sits on top of a pallet. I did notice though in the package that I received from the company, I'm missing a second one of these to go right there. And I only have one of these. I got a little bit more than a week before the bees actually show up here, so it's not the end of the world, but I don't know. I still got a lot to do to get ready for the bees. I'm sure you guys will see that whole adventure in an upcoming video very soon. Hey Toby, are you the protector of the bees? Huh? <laughs> uh, I hope you don't get stung by one of these guys. 
So next up on my to-do list is an item that wasn't even on my to-do list this morning, but it's something I'm gonna have to deal with if I wanna do my next task on my to-do list. Out of the way, Mr. Pablo. You see, when I was trying to get the bee uh, hives out of the pickup truck, suddenly I noticed there's a problem with the latch on my pickup and the tailgate will open up. I was able to get the stuff out of the pickup bed for that last task. But for where I'm going, I really need to be able to open up that tailgate. So you see, it won't open. And it doesn't feel like the latch mechanism is even trying to catch. So I think I need to try to open this up and see if there's like a problem with the latch system. For those of you guys who are familiar with our channel, you know that I am an absolute mechanical moron. And so this is gonna be an interesting task to see if I can do it, but I really need to get this tailgate open to do the next thing I've gotta do. There we go. So it's that thing that's not catching right. So apparently this thing sort of slipped out of here. And if it sits just like that and I try the handle, there we go. It's probably like a little plastic doohickey that's supposed to go here, but unfortunately I don't have one. I think this is gonna require some Yankee ingenuity. So back in the fall of 2020, I answered a Craigslist ad with a guy who was looking to sell a buff gander. Buff geese are these, this breed of geese that I actually really like. And this guy had a little flock of, of buff geese, but he was looking to move out one of his ganders. The price was right, and he was only about an hour away from me, and so I bought the goose and brought him back, and that's the goose that ended up being Bruce the Goose, who has been just an awesome addition to our farm. Well. The other day, I got a text from the same guy who I bought Bruce from, and he said that he was looking to actually get rid of his four females, his four buff females, and asked me if I was interested, if I wanted to have them free of charge. And to be quite honest, I was like, heck yeah. And so I am actually on my way right now to this guy's farm to go pick up four geese. Don't worry, you guys are going to a good place. And you're all staying together, it's okay. You're just going with the rest of your family. It's cool. It's okay. Ah! Ah! She's the biter. Yeah, so I just got the geese packed up and ready to go. They're out back there hanging out. Stopping to get myself a coffee before I head back to the farm. Hello. Hey there, how are you doing? Good, yourself? I am doing well. And then I have this. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> I, was wondering what the, I have one duck right now, but I had two ducks. I got them together, and 
something happened. I don't know if a dog or a fox or something. Oh, happened. I'm sorry. One of them, but I mean, they go in my house. Like they are. Oh, <laughs> they're like family, basically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, good luck. Yeah. I'll Thank see you. you. Bye. <laughs> Back of my pickup just got covered in goose poop. Take it easy, guys. Okay, they've had a little bit of a scare, so they actually don't want to quite get out of the cage just yet. I'll give them a minute. What do you think, Toby Dog? <laughs> You're too busy playing with that stick, huh? Come on, girls. Yeah, you want to see who's new? Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, girls, there you go. This is your new temporary house. Give me a moment, I'm gonna give you some fresh water. There's some food. This is just Toby Dog, he's your friend. It's cool. All right, Toby, come on out. We're gonna give them a couple minutes. I'm gonna now let them spend, I don't know, the next couple of days in there. Just making sure they're healthy, make sure they don't spread anything to my birds, make sure they don't have any bad signs of anything. I'll also let them acclimate to the rest of the birds that we have here on the farm, including Bruce the Goose, who used to be part of their flock. So it'll be really interesting to see if Bruce here, who's also a buff goose, recognizes them. Bruce has actually taken on two different girlfriends. He's actually taken on Lucy, who's uh, that gal right there, uh, the one pilgrim female goose. And he's also taken on, actually that white Emden right there, she's also been kind of his girlfriend. They've been spending a lot of time together. But those four ladies are gonna attract a lot of attention here on the farm, I know it. Oh, is Bruce recognizing the old gals? Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of tough to tell. Why is this so awkward? Because <laughs> <laughs> I realized in every single video, mm -hmm. you take a bite and you do that. You've <laughs> never done that in real life. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know why I always do that. I don't know. It's like, I'm like, I am enjoying this meal. Mmm, it's very good. Hey, buddy. 
getting that good stretch in there, huh? How's it going? How's it going there, ladies? Oh, you see me, he got shy again. Aw. So it seems like Bruce the Goose really seems to like the ladies, or at least recognizes the ladies, which is kind of cool to me. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Hey, what are you doing in there, girl? Get it out. You're not supposed to be there. You know what, Toby? I'm gonna have to put a door on there to keep them out for you. Hello, everybody. Hola, Pablo. Evening, ladies. Everybody getting ready for bed? That's good. Let's see, we got one, two. Hey there, General Washington. Uh-oh, what's this? Do you see this stray duck egg, Toby? I'll give that to you with your dinner. Just sit tight. Pablo, don't wheeze the juice, huh? check inside Toby's house to make sure that that goose wasn't laying an egg because she very well could be oh would you look at that she's been actually leaving a couple eggs in here Toby you see this monkey business put these in here those will go in my next incubation anybody leave anything in here Ooh, no more for there. Okay. Pretty decent egg haul. So I got most of the ducks in here, but we get the last couple. All ducks go to bed. All ducks go to bed. Look at that sky. Isn't that beautiful? Just the clouds. You got the moon. It's only about 45 degrees right now. It just feels great. All right, there you go, Mr. Toby Dog. There's your dinner. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, enjoy. It's all you, kid. Oh, all right. You know I got a special surprise on top of it all for you. There you go. I know, it's your favorite. Yeah. Okay, here. In you go, girl. Good night, chickens. Good night, silky chickens. You all right? Um, wait. It looks like we already watched all of them. Yeah, no, I watched them. Sunday, Meghan Markle and her unemployed husband opened up about racism in the royal family. Alright buddy, I need you to watch over the farm. I got a mission that's out there. So I'm on a little bit of a mission today. Set up some brand new trail. 